I already know. Jalen Brown. I smell you. He is out for the season with a torn ligament in his left wrist. Didn't matter. Celtics were ass anyway. This, all this is, is excuse. the excuse to why we're going to lose in the first round of the playing game. That's what it is now. It's like, you can look at it two ways. You can look at it that way, that yeah, okay, Celtics just lost their second best player. We we're probably gonna get wiped in the first round, most likely going to now. Or you can look at it from the perspective, hey, thank you, John. From the perspective of a few years ago, in 2018, the Celtics lost Kyrie Irving right before the playoffs. And everyone was like, we're fucked. We're, we're not gonna win anything. Ended up making it to game seven of the Eastern Conference Finals. They're now, off. now yeah. I'm not saying I much different than it was three years ago. The East was not as good as it is now. But just because we lost Jalen Brown, I am not ultimately going to lose faith. I didn't have much confidence in them before, so mm -hmm. I'm not going to say I lost much more since losing Jalen. What's their seeding right now? They're the seventh seed. They're most likely yeah. gonna, they're going to be six or seven. They're most likely going to be at seven. They play Miami tonight. And whoever wins has the tiebreaker over the two. So if they end up tying, whoever wins tonight will have the edge. So pretty much tonight's up. a playoff game. I think there's uh, the play the playing game starts a week from today. Lakers playing Lakers game. Lakers are I think they're currently in Don't the playing game. Don't tonight. be surprised. Don't yeah. Don't be surprised they get knocked out. Who the Celtics? The Lakers. Oh, the Lakers. I mean, who's I mean, going to end up Curry. playing Curry? They'll, they'll they'll make it. I mean, they'll play Curry, but then they'll, if they lose to Golden State, then they still play another game so afterwards. So this they're the, going to beat the Grizzlies or the Spurs with LeBron back. Is that how it works? You get yeah. two. So if you're the higher, if you're the seven eight seed, it's a double elimination. If you're the nine ten seed, it's a single elimination. Yeah. Um, so that's how it works. So the Celtics have four games left this season. This is fucking Little League They play Miami. Um, they play Miami, Ooh. Cleveland, Minnesota, and then the Knicks, the last game of the year. So really, Cleveland and Minnesota. At the last four games, we should at least win two of them. But at the same time, team? how this year has gone, they can lose both. They can lose all four games. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's obviously a tough blow for the Celtics, but we still do have Jason Tatum. Um, you know, I'm not ruling anything out. I, I still, ha I probably honestly st am still in the same spot that I was before this injury. I see this as you guys just having a good excuse. I mean, I, no, that's why I'm saying. The first round anyway. Like and if we, know, that's, I, I agree with you. I'm not changing. That's what I'm saying. Before this injury, be before this injury, I'm thinking yeah. first round exit. I'm still thinking first round exit. Really? But at the same time, it's like, like I said, like you can see how it was a few years ago. I mean, who knows? They can make a miracle run. Do I think it's is it a high chance of happening? No, but I'm I'm still not going to give up on that. Um, and yeah. I think Mr. Stevens is on a little bit more of a hot seat than we all you, think. I, 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 I think with this, I think this changes that. Cause I, I don't know. Sure I don't know if this why is would, Why would it change it? Well, because, because like now if they lose, you can't really like, blame yeah. Stevens. You but can blame that we didn't have our like second best player. I'm not going to I'm gonna, I'm not, I'll figure that out. Nick, I'm not going to argue with that, but he has been great for the seven years prior. So, right. and, and we talked about this, it's like, you fire Brad Stevens, I'm not against that. I'm not, I'm not completely against that, but it's like, you fire <coughs> Brad Stevens, Thank you. who the hell are you going to get? Kevin Garnett. No, oh my realistic, God. realistic. <laughs> saying it. Realistic. He's not going to be an NBA. He, he doesn't just jump up to be an NBA coach. Hey, I'm just saying. No, I like the idea of it. I'm not. I'm not going to say I wouldn't Steve be a fan Nash of it. Steve Nash was never a coach either. All right. Obviously, he but, doesn't really need to coach that team. But, but I'm just he, saying. But he got started Golden State. He was a player coach. He was kind of working with the players. He got started somewhere. Who? Uh, Steve Nash. He was with the Warriors like 19, 20, and then he took the head coaching job. Okay. So like he started somewhere. I'm not. I would love to see KG be the head coach of the Celtics. I think that would be You want fucking, Stevens out? No, 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 no. I'm saying, like, in the argument that you fire Brad Stevens, there's no one else that you can replace him with. There's no one out there. Him. I don't think they are either. Well, th something's got to give because I this team will, if they keep the same they exact team, a they go to an extension. This is what I like think is going to happen. This offseason, Danny Ainge is going to blow this team up. I mean, you can't when you Brown blow it up, Jason you blow it and Jalen up? are staying. Everyone else is well, who, on that, the block. Well, who, who's going to take care of I was going to say, who's, who's, who's going to get for those players? Listen, Grant Williams. I can't tell you right now. But the I'm only one you can get some for is Marcus team, Smart. The way the that it is right for, now, the Celtics team is going to look nothing like it is right now next season. I mean, I think it will. 
I don't think Kemba Walker will activity. still be there rotten on the freaking sidelines. I think the team is going to look a lot different next year. I think Danny Ainge is, you know, kind of like with Bill Belichick. We were supposed to be a lot better this year, and he's pissed that we weren't that good, and I think he's going to do something about it in but the offseason. The, the, the thing is that Belichick had the cap space. He had the things available to improve the team. I don't see You don't those, know what move Danny Ainge can make. Of course we don't know what move, but what realistic move can they make? That's up for him to decide. Of course, uh, I don't know who's well, available. Here's the thing. I don't know no, who's no, available. They, they can make a lot of good moves. They need free aid. They'll, they'll probably just sign. They need role players. They don't know good for the top talent. No, that's why I'm saying you have your two stars. two stars. Now you just but form around them. That's it. All stars. They need a big man. But who is the that thing is, is they have we have Robert Williams. He can't stay healthy. When we ha when he's starting, we are nine and two. But we like just they he traded can't away stay Tyson. That wasn't a good move. Eh, I, don't I mean, Tice Tice was, I mean, he wasn't really much more of a role was player. The only one who could defend. He was better than Trips and Tops. Tops and oh, I'm not that gonna, is true. I'm not going to disagree with that. I, I think, it, it, looking back on it, it kind of sucks that they did trade him because Robert Williams is hurt now, and it's like we only have one healthy center. So it would have been I mean, nice Trips to and have Thompson the two. Trips and Thompson was the one to go. Yeah, I agree. I, I think it was more tougher to trade him because he was Take him and their connections and send him back to <laughs> LA. I, I just think it's easier to say all this stuff, like, oh, we're going to make a bunch of moves. But like, which for which there are no good free agent bigs. I mean, Serge Ibaka is a guy you could get. Well, I'm not saying I we think need Serge a big. would be a great fit. I'm yeah. not saying we need a big. I would I love Serge Ibaka. Yeah, I, I, I think Robert. I think Robert, Robert Williams well. is the perfect center for do. the Celtics. He just needs to stay healthy. But like Paul Millsap. I like like I like the idea of getting 34, 36, 36. Yeah. I think you can look at like solid veteran role players. That's what you're saying, Dave. Like you don't need more star players. You have your two stars. You have your all stars. Now you literally just need to form. A team around them. Kemba Walker, you need That's a leader. Right next you need a leader. I'm not, and this right is by next. no way I'm bringing him up as an example. I'm not saying the Celtics have any possible chance of ever getting him in any which way, shape, or form. The Celtics need someone like Chris Paul. They need a mm. older veteran player that has, you know, he hasn't been to the finals, but he has been through a lot of shit in the NBA, experienced the highs and the lows. And he knows where what it takes to get to a certain point. I think you bring a leader like that. Jalen and Jason. Carl uh, Lowry. Kyle would Lowry wouldn't be a bad he, that's not a bad option he's a champion he knows what it's like to win you need someone like Jalen and Jason I'm not saying they're Paul not Millsap good leaders 36 also. Is that How 36 Paul Nelson. yeah that's what I said um, I I you don't Millsap. need like Jason and Jalen I'm not saying they're not good leaders but they're young they're way too young to be leaders on a championship team you need someone we thought Kemba Walker was going to be that guy turned out he wasn't you made that mistake you, you move on from that whenever you do. Whether you trade him, you let his contract go, whatever. Tough. Tough I think contract. that Tough that's contract. the type of Two player more years, that they need. Like a century they need now. a guy that's like in his early 30s. Um, I know Chris Paul is in his early 30s, but you need someone like that's an older veteran, been in the league for like 10 years. Mike Conley. Serge, baby. Mike Con I like someone like Mike like People like that, you know what I mean? Like Guys like that, I feel like can really, you know, they're not the biggest, sexiest names, but like they'll take you to that next level. Mm. Like They know what it's like to get to that next level. And that's just how I envision the Celtics. Something's got to give. That's what happened this year was unacceptable.